の相手を、えー、この中で死体症がいます吉田石井戦の集まり森山に乗せる戦国ヘビー級その中でもひときわ異彩を放つのがアマゾンモンスターアントニオ・シューマン頂点を極めたブラジルのトップファイターその最大の武器はデビュー級の中でもヘタハグの体格と隣がケアし戦国デビュー戦では中尾吉義信と対戦その舞台からは想像できない素早い動きで相手を追い込むそして試合途中中尾のフルキルが再発 TKO 勝利を収めた Submissions. He has never gone the distance in his career. Comes in off a win over James Thompson, as you just saw, who he knocked out at St. Goku 7 in March. At four and a half minutes in the opening round, with a jab of all things. Has only fought twice over the last year. Between 2003 and 2007, Big Jim went on a great 10 fight winning streak, including wins over seven Australian opponents, such as the very tough Mick Cutterjack. We made verbally submit. Just the two losses on his record. First at Doug Major on York's MMA debut back in 2003 in Australia. And then to Yoshiro Kisnakao by knockout in May last year at Sengoku's second battle. Rei Matsumura from Five Rings Dojo in the corner as Big Jim, the big Maori from New Zealand, bounds into centre ring. <laughs>
A lot of support here in Japan for Antonio Bigfoot Silva. He is ready for action. Big Jim York. A lot of people expect, us included, this one will not go the three-round distance. Somehow it's going to end. Jim York says he'll knock out Silva. Silva said, I'll either knock him out or sub him one way or another. I'm going to end it here for Big Jim York. Final instructions from our dwarfed Sinza referee. And we are ready for our semi-main event here at Sengoku 10. Michael Chavello, Guy Mezga, and Hans Thompson with you ringside from the Saitama Super Arena. Bigfoot and Big Jim. Jim York in the black. Chin's up a little high for my yeah. liking. Needs to tuck it here, does Big Jim York. Yeah, for a guy, uh, you know, with the, his, uh, his fight experience, especially stand experience, he needs to tuck that chin, you know. You know, Silva, he looks like an awkward guy because, you know, because he suffers from giantism, but he's not. He's very agile. He can do jump knees. He's got good kicks, good hands, as you just saw the nice. kick there. Outside thigh kick from Bigfoot Antonio Silva. And I'll tell you what, he does have big feet. I saw them yesterday at the press conference when I had a chat to him. He could go for bobsleds on those feet. Yeah, Jim, uh, Jim, Big Jim York here. He's holding his hands a little low, too, against a guy who's got good power. Ooh, wild looping left hand there from Big Jim York. Looking for a Hail Mary shot early on here. The New Zealander almost one minute down in the first round set for three. Good rib kick off the rear leg from Bigfoot. Inside thigh kick trying to compress that femoral artery. I, I don't know why these guys haven't, like, decided to maybe throw a jab or two. Uh, you know, they need to get some distance. That's the problem with a lot of their stuff here. They're kind of throwing these kicks and their distance is off. Use that jab to find the distance. Looking for a takedown early here. Antonio Silva got both legs locked up and he gets Big Jim down, goes into side control. Jim York looking for a guillotine here. Don't think he's going to get it though against Bigfoot. Uh, but if he keeps his head down here, it'd be a good idea. If he keeps his head down and, gets, and, and uses it, that to kind of get his hips away, push his head down and then use that to get his hips away. He can get to stand right there. He needs to get out. He needs to stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Use. Don't forget Antonio Silva, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, just puts Big Jim through the ropes. And the referee moves in to separate these two behemoths. Yeah, this gets to a standing position. This works good for Jim. Big Jim here. Big Jim. But he's, he's has you know, I don't know why he's hesitating. He needs to start, you know, I don't know why he didn't start doing a jab, get those hands working. Well, if he throws the inside thigh kick, you already see the reddening on the inside left thigh there, just below the hemline on the trunks of Antonio Silva. Then what Big Jim needs to do, throw the inside thigh kick, then immediately power through with the right hand to that massive jawline of Antonio Silva. He pops the jab, smack bang on the schnoggin of Silva. And Silva tries to jab him back. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Big Jim's uh, boxing, though. Look, I mean, look how he's holding his head up when, he, when he's throwing. He's kind of throwing it like, you know, a mistake a lot of amateur boxers make, which is... Ooh, right-hand counter from Antonio Silva. Big Jim catches him with that jab that knocked out James Thompson. And shots around the back of the head. Referee keeping a close eye on it, hooking around to the ear of Antonio Silva. It's a lot of weight leaning down on you against the ropes here. A big foot Antonio Silva. He's got one underhook as the Brazilian. Yeah, but, but you, you made the made the point. Big Jim, he's a Mori. And those guys are freaking strong. Those guys are strong, strong guys. The Maori is the natives of New Zealand. Tribal culture. Inside the half guard here is Antonio Silva. Not the type of guy you want on top of you. No. Just controlling the posturing here. Big Jim. 
pulling Antonio Silva down towards his chest. Silva's going to try and pop out and posture up. Work some ground and pound. Nice hammer fist strike to the ear by the Brazilian. Still stuck inside the half guard here. Going to try and pass maybe. Go to the side control position. Big hammer fist strike. Well, what Big Jim needs to do, instead of having, see how his arm stuck over there like that? He needs to get it back. He can get triangle choked here. He can get an arm triangle here. Yeah. He might get it. Oh, he's out. He can get it. Oh, this is dangerous. Inside control now. Referee, yeah, keep it close. It's all over. It's good man, Irene. Antonio Bigfoot Silva chokes out Big Jim York. It didn't take long, Guy Mezga. It didn't take long. Yeah, I, I didn't think that uh, Big Jim York got off like he needed to. You know, he, he needed to be more aggressive, you know. I just didn't see it. I think it was, I think it was a little bit uh, hesitant, you know, because he knows that uh, Antonio Silva has more, you know, more weapons in this game. And I think he was a little too hesitant in it. And, you know, when you have less weapons, you got to use what you have even more so. You need to bring that fight into your type of fight, and he didn't do that. He made, was hesitant in his game. He didn't throw enough punches, um, and uh, you know he paid for it. Pretty well. Antonio Bigfoot Silva, who told us yesterday he wants to fight the best. He wants to fight the Fedor Emelianenkos. He wants to fight the Josh Barnett's here in Japan. Well, he moves one step closer to doing just that, improving his record to 13 and one. The question is. Who next for Antonio Bigfoot Silva? And indeed, where next for Antonio Bigfoot Silva? Having talked to him yesterday at the press conference, once again, I believe we're going to see him in strike force very, very soon. We'll also continue to see him here in Sengoku. Bigfoot with the microphone as Jim York heads backstage. I said I love you all. Thank you, thank you. They translated into Japanese. Thank you to everybody. Just a wild guess. I think he thanked his family and God. That's just my wild guess. <laughs> Taking a stab in the dark. <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he thanked his teammates, he thanked his family, he thanked God. He said that he is planning on becoming the best fighter, the best heavyweight in uh, Sengoku, that he wants to continue to fight in Sengoku for some time, and that he's, he's comfortable fighting on his feet and on the ground. I'm guessing he said ATT and Jiu Jitsu. Just another wild step in the dark there, guys. I didn't even know he spoke Portuguese. <laughs> Well, it'd be interesting to see, you know, I, I think a great matchup here in Japan would be Josh Burnett. Oh, yeah. Because he's under suspension in America yep. uh, for the you know, same problem that uh, Junior had here. And uh, it would be, that would be a great match. If he could beat Barnett, then he would be one of the elite guys. You know, uh, one of the holdup, I think, is a little bit with um, uh, Antonio Silva is that he hasn't fought a lot of the really elite guys. Some of the guys. Some of the other guys he's fought have been, you know, he's fought some of the guys that, you know, were a little long in the tooth, you know. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how he do against Barnett. He made easy work of it. Big Jim York forced to tap out. Folks, when we return, main event time, Hiroshi Azumi and notorious Hans Nansen, Cinco Guten. Oh, this is heaven. Do I feel lucky? Hey, the naughty, dirtiest sex of your life. Can you save some fecal matter for me? I'll bring you down a little bit. I'm not such a bad catch. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's kind of weird, but I think I can get used to it. What else does the world have to offer? <laughs> HDNet Concerts presents...